I would never hurt nobody. Robert Blake hits the streets to save his friends. Jump, Stumpy! Will a desperate gamble lead to tragedy? Wednesday. <laughs> Get, go, hold on, sorry. Let me get uh, okay. stop sharing. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. Can you see me? Good. Yes, I can. Okay. Just wanted to start with that. Oh yeah. <laughs> that, uh, as in reference to um, la the, what I was talking about last week, with uh, you know the Maverick Renyo Renyo Maverick. You know, remember <laughs> the, the no, not last week. The in our last session of this series that we're doing. And uh, when uh, when I got the when I talked about having the impression that um, um, from some sangas that I was mm. part of in the past, that Renyo was kind of this like independent maverick, you know, that yeah. kind of that was doing his, you know, he was he was the re, you know reformer that just kind of came, you know. And we were talking about how nowhere. he's very, yeah, out of nowhere almost, or, you know, not necessarily out of nowhere, but just kind of, you know, on his own, you know, and just how we were talking about how he was in the, that was the, that was the, uh, that was yeah. the, um, that was the show that I was thinking of that I <laughs> was trying to describe was uh, Helltown with Robert Blake <laughs> as a maverick priest. He's got to take on. The streets of New York. Anyway, <laughs> that's kind of the that's yeah. the impression I got of like you know metaphorically speaking of, yeah. from these other people about who Renyo was rather than this mm -hmm. you know teacher and Manchu within the Anguanji Jodoshinchu yep. tradition. Um, mm -hmm. Anyway, he so yet undivided. Yeah, so anyway, Namo Mirabutsu. Yes, Namo <laughs> Good to, uh, good um, to see you, good to see you. To I've see got you, so. all the, everything ready, um, all oh, the websites, great. the pamphlet, everything, including the Steve Jobs uh, clip that we talked about in that ah, last yeah, video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you want me Very to play nice. that? Because we said... Um, yeah, should we introduce the context yes. before we yeah, play yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, otherwise, yeah. people will be wondering, huh? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> exactly. By the way, I, just a note, I've been reading this. I don't know if you can see it. Yes. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, yeah. um, My, the blur. By, hold on. Let me turn the blur off. No, that's okay. By uh, Biko Bodhi. Yeah? Is that one of Biko Bodhi's? Yes. Books? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I don't know why it's fuzzy. Yeah, I could see it. Yeah, good as worth. Anyway, in the but in the this, as words. Yeah, yeah. Um, an anthology of discourses from the Pauli canon. This book is really excellent, and uh, I got to the, the second chapter, uh, the bringer of light, and um, he opens the chapter with one uh, passage from uh, one of the Nikayas. And it's it's really good, so I thought maybe I could read it and we could open the session uh, sort of with that. It's very short. Okay. So, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Please uh, do. Okay, one, one person. It's called Monks. There is one person who arises in the world for the welfare of the multitude, for the happiness of the multitude, out of compassion for the world, for the good, welfare, and happiness of devas and humans. Who is that one person? It is the Tathagata, the Arahant, the perfectly enlightened one. This is that one person. Monks, there is one person arising in the world who is unique, without a peer, without counterpart, incomparable, unequaled, matchless, unrivaled, the best of humans. Who is that one person? It is the Tathagata, the Arahant, the perfectly enlightened one. This is that one person. Monks, the manifestation of one person is the manifestation of great vision, of great light, of great radiance. It is the manifestation of the six things unsurpassed, the realization of the four analytical knowledges, the penetration of the various elements, of the diversity of elements. It is the realization of the fruit of knowledge and liberation, the realization of the fruits of 
tree in tree once returning, non-returning in our march. Who is that one person? It is the Tapanta, the Arahant, the perfectly enlightened one. This is that person. Namo Mirbatsu. So we open with Namo some uh, Mirbatsu. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. All right, so shall we dive yes. into where we were yes, please. last? It's been a while since we yes. discussed this, um, this text from Linya Shonin's Gobun Show or Ofumi, if you're in the Ashi Honganji. Um, so do you want to bring up? Well, I was going to ask. Yeah, I can bring up everything. I was wondering, did you did we want to read the um, sec? I just got to remember which uh, sec. The, um, did you want to read the letter first, just through and through and without commentary, just just so we start the discussion with that, I won't even read the brackets this time. <laughs> we'll just <laughs> and just read it through, and then do you see what I mean? Just so we have the yeah. always have the context of the letter Great. to begin with. Yeah, is that is good that idea. good? Okay. Yep. All right. So let me share my screen, and as always, gain strength from the sharing. <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> Okay, uh, so yeah, this is uh, from Renya's letter, letters. This is number 11 on the fivefold teaching. In recent years, the import of the teaching of our traditions, Master Shinran has been presented in various ways in the pro provinces with lack of uniformity. This is a most deplorable situation. For to begin with, although the birth of ordinary beings through other power faith has been of primary importance to our tradition, uh, some well, some brush aside the matter of faith and do not consider it. They propose that faith is not for, is not forgetting that Amida Tathagata settled our birth at the same time of his perfect enlightenment 10 kalpas ago. What is completely lacking in this is the element of taking refuge in Amida and realizing other power faith. Therefore, however well they may know that their faith has been settled since the time of, of Amida's perfect enlightenment 10 kalpas ago, Unless they fully know the significance of other power faith through which we attain birth, they will not attain birth in the land of utmost bliss. There are, the, there, are, there are also some people who say, even if we take refuge in Amida, this is to no avail without a good teacher. Therefore, there is nothing for us to do but rely on a good teacher. These are their words. Uh, they, too, are people who have not properly attained our tradition's faith. The function of a good teacher is to just encourage people to take refuge in Amida, in Amida single-heartedly and steadfastly. <laughs> Therefore, a fivefold teaching has been established. First, good from the past. Second, a good teacher. Third, light. Fourth, faith, and fifth, the name. Unless this fivefold teaching is realized, it is evident that birth is impossible. Thus, the good teacher is the messenger who tells us to take refuge in Amida Buddha. Without meeting a good teacher through the unfolding of good from the past, birth is impossible. Bear in mind, however, that to abandon Amida in whom we take refuge, and to take only the good teacher as essential is a serious error. Respectfully, uh, Bun, Bun Mei 6, uh, 1474. I'm not sure what the five point 
two zero means. <laughs> anyway, um, is that, is that star date? Be... Is that a star date? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I think it's um, May twentieth. I'm not really sure. Okay. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. That would. Yeah. That would make sense. Yeah. 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 May twentieth. Yeah. So yeah. That, um, so now, what did you want me to bring up next? Now we have the context. Yeah. So so Overall, this from the writing is the the topic that we were discussing. So there's this great little pamphlet that the Buddhist Churches of America has produced. Um, and I believe it's by Reverend Koi yep. Kwan from yeah, right the Tonganji uh, Buddhist right. Temple. Yep. That's and right. um, it gives a really great overview or discussion of each of these five elements of this, this fivefold teaching that Rinyo uh, talks about. And um, I think where we left off last time, and uh, you'll have to correct we, me because we yeah. we basically did the first like three okay. paragraphs and just kind of yeah. did the video as a as an overview to begin the series, and then we're going to go through each yeah. one individually as a separate episode kind of thing. Was the Sounds idea good. anyway? We'll see how that unfolds, though. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, do you, would you like to read the first one about yeah. stored good from the past? Sure, and I think I will try to uh, increase the size here of this a bit. Can that be seen better? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And let me just get rid of, can I, probably can't get rid of the, uh, so can I just, decrease it just that much because I'm going to have to be in the in the column next to it there. So, okay. Right. So, oh, I can always move it over. Yeah. So let's just increase it a bit more. How's that look? Not good? Mm, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. No, okay, no problem. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There we go. All right. So one stored good from the past. For a, Buddha, for a Buddhist, the ultimate goal is to become enlightened, to be, become a Buddha. There are many different paths to enlighten, enlightenment. Uh, Fascal 5, letter 11 of the Gabuncho stated, we, abandoned, we abandon sundry practices and without doubting, entrust ourselves single-heartedly and steadfastly to Amida Buddha. When it comes to true enlighten enlightenment, we need to stop looking for the purity in what we do for ourselves and rely on the sutra of immeasurable life and, more importantly, Amida. Amida. Fascicle 3, letter 12. Fa Fascicle 3, letter 12. It, um, it, it, uh, yeah, it explained that there are no authentic sources of the Dharma other than what the Buddha taught. Renyo explained, if a person has already practiced this Dharma at one time in the past and is able to hear it again now, he will immediately realize joy. Here, the Buddha's teachings through the, th sorry, sorry, hear the Buddha's teachings through the larger sutra, attain faith, and keep it firm within with joy. Oh, keep it firm within with joy. Good karma from the past is to encounter or hear the Buddha's teachings and wait for them Uh, and wait for them people yeah, to, typo. I think that's a typo, <laughs> and wait for the people to mature or ripe, sorry, or wait for them to mature. Yeah, or ripe, yeah that's probably them. just them. Yeah, let's read that again. Okay, so good karma from the past is to encounter or hear the Buddha's teachings and wait for them to mature or ripen for the attainment of other power faith now. Mm. Emphasizing... <laughs> now <laughs> yes now <laughs> in a couple of few different ways isn't it? but uh great explanation here um so the only thing i wanted to add is is uh or talk about is 
the term stored good from the past. So mm -hmm. it's usually shukuzen um, and, uh, in Japanese, which means literally stored good. And uh, traditionally, you know, this, this would be understood as um, the good actions that we do, you know, um, to that produce beneficial results in in future lives. I mean, going back to to early Buddhism, um, even reading in in this book, in the Buddha's words, uh, he talks about one of the chapters in here is uh, called the way to a fortunate earth, right? And it talks about the the acquisition of, of prima or merit, and you know, through the working of the, the laws of karma, you um, want to produce those wholesome actions that lead to to wholesome and, and good results in, in future lives. Right um, now, so shukuzin is referring to all that stored good. From the beginning of its past, that's so all. All of those um, uh, is uh, are stored in. Uh, if you are familiar with Yogacara uh, philosophy, they would be stored in the Alaya Vijnana, the Alaya the base, Alaya. yeah, consciousness, and then um, they produce, you know. The effects of those those actualitional actions of body, speech, and mind within the next, you know, some a future existence. Um, so that's that's the meaning of shukuzin. So you know, it's also um, the 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 um, I think Tendai and the Nichiren Tendai schools and Nichiren mm -hmm. schools to discuss the alaya consciousness and yeah anyway. yep it's a basis for a lot of, of Mahayana yeah. and especially mm -hmm. Kamakura um, uh, Buddhist schools uh, there's a lot of influence of course you know our second um, the second of the Pure Land Masters identified by Shinron was uh, Vasubandhu who was who is credited as the the um, Developer of the Yoga Chara uh, school and teaching. Um, so uh, now, so that Shukuzin, you know, on the the face of it, you know, it's encouraging us to do good things, right? So that we, so that good fruits will follow from that. And here, um, if you uh, go up to the top of the second column. Yeah. Say, uh, yeah, good karma from the past or shukuzin, good stored from the past, is to encounter or hear the Buddha's teachings and wait for them to mature or ripen for the attainment of other power faith now. So, what this means. Is that it's not referring to our good actions. It's referring rather to the hearing of the Dharma, which is the working of, of other power, not of our own, you know, cognition, so to speak. Correct. So that's the important thing to, to take away here is that the meaning of stored good, because some some people get this wrong and think, oh, I need to start working hard and storing up good so that I can, <laughs> at some point in the future, it will be converted into Shinji. And that's not the case. Far from it, Shukuzin here is, is really the Dharma, the good of the Dharma that is working in and on. In on us. us. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. In us, on us. Yeah. yeah. In our causes and conditions throughout so it's all... countless past lifetimes yeah. so Last. this the steward good is not something that i am piling up to my own efforts rather it's that which is the you know when when Shunron talks about the virtues that are in the name being freely given 
to all beings. And she talks about the light shining on everyone and working no matter where or in what um, uh, state of mind or of existence they are, all beings are equally illuminated and by the working of that, that uh, infinite light, which is wisdom. And that is the, the source of this good of which we're talking about. So, can I ask a question about that then in this sure. framing it in this way? So, mm-hmm. you know, good karma from the past is to encounter or hear the Buddhist teachings and wait for them to wait for them to mature or ripen for the attainment of mm-hmm. the power of faith now. So at some point in the past, if uh, a being has encountered or heard the Buddhist teachings, Mm. whether that and is that from that could be from a buddha directly Mm. maybe they were born in the time of a buddha or from another from just a from a teacher Mm. from a book or some other way that's beyond you know our imagining in some world you know that you know some birth of in some world that we can't you know kind of conceive of how we encountered that as whatever being we were, but somehow we encountered the Buddhist teachings or heard the Buddhist teachings. Uh, mm. Maybe as a, well, you know, maybe as a, maybe we were an animal. Maybe we were some kind of animal around a temple, you know, or do you see what I mean? Is that, does that mean all those different ways? If we, you know, and we, we were around a temple and we could overhear, even though we wouldn't have been able to, you know, recognized because we're we were in an animal consciousness Mm -hmm. we would have overheard the teaching if we were do you see what i mean you know a cat say in the temple somewhere and you know or yeah or if we were a human somewhere and we right we heard a overheard it or read a book or um actually were born in the time of a nirmanakaya Mm -hmm. you know maha buddha kind of situation um in the you know distant past or whatever um so does that mean just so wh- however you hear it or encounter it um that's part of that good karma from the past mm-hmm. that good from the past is that yeah the way you know, i would the way i would lifetime. explain it especially to someone you know to to people today you know thinking about this is this shukuzen, this story of good and past, this is all of the causes and conditions that have led to this very moment right here and now, where you are, where you and I are sitting and discussing, you know, this this letter written by Rinyo Shoni. I mean, try to wrap your head around that. All of those car- causes and conditions you know, of your ancestors and, and uh, you know, Rinyo Shonin and, and, and all the way going back to Shakyamuni and everything right here and now. This is an irreplaceable in all your moment. All those different rebirths, all the karmic yeah, causes and conditions the whole, of those the whole causes and conditions of each. History set. of yeah. me, right? Yeah. You know, not of course in Buddhism we know there's no, you know, there's no self, right? That that goes from from life to life, but there is the uh, causes and conditions of of uh, the twelve links of dependent yep. vegetation and so on, and so and so here we are. And that's kind of where that yeah, you know, amala consciousness, alaya consciousness, come in. Mm-hmm. Anyway, yeah, yeah, um. But you know, keeping it simple, you don't even yeah. need to know yeah, about sorry. the yeah, details yeah, yeah. of, of yoga chara philosophy to to understand all of the causes and conditions that lead to me, uh, an individual, unrepeatable, totally unique uh, being, human being in this case, um, here in this this world, you know. That's that's in those causes and conditions, you know, Shinran tells us are um, 
the creation of not my own ideas, actions, and so on, but rather it's all due to uh, Hosovo Sansa, you know, it's all due to Amida Buddha creating that pure land, that, that world where everything is perfect and everything is just as it is. We can't create that kind of world, right? <laughs> because we're, we are mired in delusion. So however much we try to our own power to, you know, turn uh, this world into a pure land, it's never possible. But uh, we don't need to because it's already been, there's already a pure land existing, which is the creation of, of the Dharmakara. So rather than um, thinking of Shukuzin in terms of me and a self and I, we should think it in terms of the inconceivable causes and conditions that are the working of uh, other power that leads me to this moment. It's kind of like when we recite the, when we recite the, um, you know, uh, difficult is it to obtain human, you know, human life, and now we have obtained it. Uh, yeah, hard it is to, to hear the, the Buddhist teaching, and now we're hearing it. That's the emphasis is um, all of those causes and conditions, whatever they may be. So the answer I would say to you is, you know, all of the above, <laughs> like yeah. all of it. You know, the, the funny but thing behind about it all, universe behind it all, is, or using all those karmic causes and conditions is is other power. Yeah, is, is great compassion is and great, great compassion wisdom. And, and, and if you think about it, you know, the incredible thing, have you heard of the butterfly effect? Yes. Yeah. So, you know, if a butterfly dies, it could have immense, you know, a ripple effect that goes throughout all of the systems. Well, that's, that's true. I mean, you know, the, the truth is, is that everything you know that that exists is is exactly where it is for us to have this experience you know what i mean there's there's nothing there's nothing out of place so to speak in the universe yeah. you know? but because we are self-centered and you know we we think uh we see everything through the lens of of i right so we want to um uh you know we can't appreciate <laughs> so to speak that and that's why i like to say you know animals are really the some of our best teachers and you know like my parents have this little dog he's a he's a tibetan terrier and uh crossed with a poodle so they call him a toodle um but uh the tibetan terrier you know was head of uh you know monks and people in tibet so i like to think that you know maybe he's the tulku of a, a llama or something but anyway because he bows he bows to people like with his paws like he'll yeah. like do like the namaste yeah. kind of yeah um you know like gasho to people and but anyway he's yeah. like he just lived totally in the moment he has this this pure awareness of, you know, people and how your feelings. And he and the funny thing is, is he just is constantly spreading joy and and happiness and non-judgmentality, you know, and just, you know, treats everyone the same. He's a he's a little bodhisattva, you know. <laughs> he's he's a, <laughs> A Buddha in disguise, spreading, you know, uh, wisdom to those who have the ears to hear. And um, anyway, why did I say that? It's because, you know, the uh, I really do think like animals are some of our best teachers. 
Yeah. I think you have a dog too, or you got it. We new... just got, we just, yeah. well, I've had cats for a number of years now. One of them passed away a few years back and we've had one for, she's 16 now. And just this weekend, we've got uh, puppies. We've just, uh, we've just, uh, yeah, have okay. new housemates, new, new sentient beings living with us from the animal <laughs> realm now who, uh, yeah, so they're and they're they're we call them we've coined the phrase pom chipu pom chipus. <laughs> pom chipus because pom, pom they're Pomeranian Chihuahua poodle mix. Wow. Pom chipu. That's they're, quite the it's, rare. It's cuteness overload. Let's just <laughs> call it what it is. Cuteness <laughs> overload. Yes. Yeah. I can so, imagine. So they're right behind me here, sleeping, sleeping, oh sleeping very peacefully. They've been outside all day, off and on. Um, so because we've been doing gardening and just enjoying the garden, and mm -hmm. all that. So anyway, so um, yeah, continue with what you're saying. Yeah. So okay. So if a person has already practiced this dharma at one time in the yes. past and is able to hear it again now, you will immediately realize joy. Um. So this is referring to the the idea that someone who pra maybe practiced in a previous existence, a previous past life, be uh, purely on something would encounter it, you know, again in this life. So it's pointing to the same idea of those, you know, past causes and, and conditions. But um, the only thing, caution, I would have here is you don't want to get too hung up on Shukuzin. So... Do I have it? Do I not have it? That kind of thing. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. more of a it's more of a case of if you are if you have encountered this teaching, then you don't need to worry about it. Yeah, <laughs> you, yeah. You are, we're here. Like we're here. We're, so yeah, if you're if you're <laughs> talking about Jodo Shinshu, if you're if you're you yeah. know interacting with people from you know Jodo Shinshu, you know Buddhism. Yeah in some way or reading some something of the texts or whatever you kind of it's kind of a given isn't it yeah and the same goes for the attaining of shinji right and this is more from the point of view of how did i get here you know and you you have in retrospect oh suddenly it's like your eyes are sort of open to all of these you know, causes and conditions that were working in your your life to bring you to this. Whereas before you might not have noticed, right? Because you're you're self-centered, you're focused on your own little problem of how am I gonna get that chinjin, you know? <laughs> uh, so when you when you actually awaken to uh, true and real Changing, it's more like, oh wow, all of this, all of it, the good and the bad, you know, the good and the bad, because we, you know, our minds, we love to categorize everything, make judgments, so on and so forth. So all of just, that. I just need to quickly tell you about probably sure, about sure. five minutes ago, we got the ten minute warning. Mm. I didn't want to interrupt you at that time, okay. but, but it's probably well, yeah. I think a few we to five minutes ago, pretty quickly. But, but um, um, by saying this goes back to when Shinran talks about um, all of our karmic being transformed into the highest good. And by, and yeah, by I was just I was there, I was thinking this the whole time. I was yes. waiting for an opportunity to to say to say what I've, that, that I've been thinking about that for you know as we've been talking is mm -hmm. is this somehow when it says with with Amita's good from the past or or Amita transforming our past, present, and future karma into the highest good? Does that come in here? That's what I was thinking. Yeah, absolutely. This, yeah, that, the, that the past is the, part. That is what's going on. And that yeah. is, you know, the... And that was already this, happening. Like, it's not something... Yeah. That... Yeah. Suddenly in Shinjin, it's just happening then. 
suddenly exactly uh, in a, a, yeah. after one thought moment it's hap just then it's mm. already happening that's that transformation's already happening mm-hmm. but it's no use to us if we don't realize if we don't awaken to it, right? And that's yeah. why Shinjin is a, is of such importance. Uh, yeah. Yes. Know, so yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 It wasn't. And, I wasn't. Um, yeah. But I. But I think. What I'm trying to say is that I think there's there could be the impression. Mm. In fact, I because I I can say that for myself that I had the impression mm-hmm. that that transformation takes place. Of the you know mm. past present and future karma into the highest yeah. good at that one thought moment of Shinjin. Mm, yeah, I, and that it, I, I wasn't <laughs> already, I thought that's what I thought, but it's already yeah. happening. The transformation is already happening through this, through Amida's working, through Amida's stored good from the past, through Amida's, do you know what I mean? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. And that is the that is the meaning here of, of this Shukuzen is the, the good that is the working of the name, right? The good that is the working of the other power. I was wondering. And we've talked about this before yeah. in other videos, in other Dharma dialogues, that it's the stored good from the past, not mm. necessarily our good from the past. It's Amida's stored good yep. from the past. Kind of being yeah. passed on to us, being moving us, yeah. enabling us it's... to to through our car through our causes and conditions and past multiple rebirths to encounter the Dharma to do you see what I mean? Mm-hmm. Is that is that right? Is that yeah, absolutely. In retrospect, you know, all of those things, we realize, oh, I thought I was the one in the driver's seat. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was the the master of my destiny, you know, and in reality, wow, all of a sudden you realize the truth of, of Buddhism, right? Of no self, of dependent origination, that you're not alone in the universe, you know, <laughs> this <laughs> soul heroic figure. Exactly. I am the, the, res- yeah. the receiver not, of the benefit, not yeah. the not the, the maverick. Benefiter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now not the maverick this- making his way through samsaric existence. <laughs> yeah. So it says we have anyway. two minutes. Um, so I don't know if we want to wrap this up. Yeah, and yeah, do, I think I think I think we're maybe done. Another with session. Shukuzen. So on this, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. maybe, or we could go on to, to the next, the next topic. Do you want to do that is, today? Do you want to scroll up a little bit? Yeah, should be a good spiritual teacher. Oh yeah, great one. Let's go on to that one. And okay, the, the thing is, All right, well, is like, there's well, I no miss one then. Sorry, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, we have we have one minute. Okay. There's no, on. there's no end. Each of these things, you know, a single word, like endless. You can just, I mean, you can dive into it and you know, <laughs> not come up for air for you know. So I want to say like, true. This is not like we never exhaust the the Dharma, right? So there's <laughs> we can always come back to it. We can always discuss it more. True. You know, things will true. pop up. So, all right. Namu 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 Namu